Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 best digital Wi-Fi smart scale. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is Fitbit Aria. Fitbit Aria, the lower priced Fitbit Aria, Air was a bit of struggle to set up. First, we had to download a firmware patch for the Air, then the Fitbit app. Once the patch was downloaded it was easy PC, but we weren't fans of the extra step. We also had to reboot our phones almost every time we wanted to sync, which was an issue users called out as well. While the Air has a similar sleek look to the Aria 2, it didn't feel as balanced and our weigh-ins were not consistent for instance, we weighed in 2 pounds heavier in the kitchen than in the bathroom with this scale. The directions we simple, but I made it harder than I need to. Says to open the Fitbit app to today get on the scales, click save yeah, that wasn't working. For some reason, I thought the device need to be Bluetooth to my phone. It does not. Then I thought I needed to have a second app just for the scale. I did not the app I downloaded was just a firm update. So here's all I had to do. Open the Fitbit app. Scroll down to the weight area. Click on that. Click on the plus sign to add new weight. Stand on the scale. Your new weight is automatically inputted in the weight area. Click save well, it's pretty, and it works. All it does is measure your weight and transmit it to the app. This saves me about 12 seconds of typing a week. It doesn't do anything else like measure your BMI. It just weighs you and transmits it to the app. It was a pain to set up because the instructions in the box are wrong and Fitbit support forums are a mess of people complaining and Fitbit not helping. Eventually, I figured out how to get it to work and it hasn't let me down since. As this is a Fitbit product, it will communicate with the Fitbit app. I can track my weight related progress much the same as the app will communicate with the Fitbit Trist device. The app was easy to install. Once installed I had to register an account which asked for a few personal details which are name, date of birth, weight height etc. Once I had registered an account I searched for the name Aria Air from the device list, this then paired both devices via Bluetooth. The pairing was carried out quickly and without issue, in no time at all I was ready to go. I don't own any other Fitbit device so this was my first experience of one of their products. I do like the idea that I can keep a daily record of my weight through the Fitbit app. The scales on their own work well, I have compared them to a known accurate scale, and these gave the same weight so they do seem accurate. I don't weigh myself every day so I haven't fully tested the app out, but so far it seems to be reliable in keeping track of my information. The number 4 on the list is CardioBase. CardioBase, this scale was easy to set up, but the weight and unique shape made it tough to tuck away easily. The cardio weighs a couple of pounds more than the rest of the scales and to us looks like it belongs in Drake's house. It's very sleek and cool, but you can't see the numbers clearly when you're standing on it. We found the app a little clunky on an iPhone as tabbing through information got overwhelming. We also found it kept tracking our info as a guest even when we were logged on and had our phone nearby with the app open. Get fit with better data, want to know if you're burning fat and gaining muscle, or whether you're actually losing weight, not just water, the CardioBase Smart Scale makes it all possible. CardioBase 2 measures body mass index, BMI, and body composition, including body, fat percentage and muscle, water and bone mass, for a complete picture of heath that goes far beyond weight. Set and track goals, set goals and monitor your daily or weekly progress with our intelligent results tracking. Tired of obsessing over the numbers on a scale, switch to smart feedback mode, which uses images, smileys, instead of numbers to recognize progress. The scale includes haptic feedback, which uses a gentle vibration to confirm when a measurement is complete. Also works with Mifit Nespel to track nutrition. Smart and connected, CardioBase uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth technology to send data to your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, Android device or Kindle. Free and friendly, cardio app automatically syncs your data sleek and modern design this fitness analyzer is as beautiful as it is smart. Ultra thin with glass top and an easy to read LED display. No need to hide it under the bed, you'll want to leave it out and use it every day. 
made for sharing, CardioBase is clever enough to automatically recognize different users in the same household. It has a special pregnancy mode so moms-to-be can track their weekly progress and add pictures to their numbers. CardioBase Smart Scale, not just another wireless scale. Fitness, BMI and Body Analyzer works with iOS 10.0 or later, Kindle, Android 5 or later, Android Wear and Apple. Watch requires Bluetooth, 4.0 measurement range, 9 to 396 lbs. Accurate down to 0.2 lbs. With four sensors, LED display rechargeable, battery, USB to micro USB, charging cable included, lasts up to one year with regular use. The number three on the list is Fitbit Aria 2. Fitbit Aria 2. The Fitbit Aria 2 was recently discontinued, but if you can find it, you'll get a great scale if you're already integrated into the Fitbit universe. Another black glass, lightweight scale, it can slide right under a bathroom vanity and has easy and easy to read display. It uses the Fitbit app, and if you're already tracking your workouts, weight BMI, lean mass, and meals in the app, the Aria will make that easier and fits in seamlessly. You can add eight users to the scale, and if you sync up with friends on Fitbit, you can share your successes. If you're just doing a regular, nonsensed weigh-in, the numbers on the scale take around 10 seconds to show up, which some reviewers disliked. This is a great scale that was close to the whiz in overall points. It's an ideal choice if you enjoy Fitbit products and its app, but if you find the app a bit busy, this might not be for you. When I first took everything out of the box and was setting it up, the first headache was connecting to the blasted thing. I started remembering all the bad reviews and it seems like this is the most difficult part of setup. I have both a Samsung Galaxy S6 and an iPhone 6 Plus, both with the Fitbit app. Out of the box it will try to connect via Bluetooth and on both devices I would enter in the pin. And then kick back out to the add device screen without the device being added. It took me about 30 minutes of me going back and forth between the iPhone and the Android app, questioning the very life decisions that lead me to throw down over a 100 frog skins just for something that won't connect before I came account a Reddit post where people were having the same thing and updated their app. I laughed frantic hysterical laughter at the very thought that the app needed to be updated in order for this to work, I was only one version update, behind this gained me worried looks from the other members of my household, but behold. Once I updated the app, the scale connected right away and I almost fell over in a bewildered state. After you get done with the setup, everything else just kinda falls into place, you can set up other users by sending them an invite from your Fitbit dashboard, it will require them to make a Fitbit account which they'll mumble about, drinking the Kool-Aid and other things, but otherwise will keep trace of your weight and BMI like there's nothing to it. The number two on the list is Withings Body. Withings Body, the Withings Body Plus, one of three we tested from Withings, which also makes sleep trackers and fitness watches, was another scale we really liked. It was our favorite from the Withings scale lineup by far. Setup was straightforward, with easy to follow directions and quick pairing. If you can set up a Bluetooth speaker, you can set up this smart scale. The app the scale works with is called Health Mate, and you can add individual accounts for family members so no nosy relatives or housemates can see your health data. Also, the scale works with Wi-Fi, so if you're logged in, you don't need the app open or your phone close by to register a reading. The weight readings were consistent with repeated testing. The only knock on this scale is that the numbers are extremely difficult to read while you're standing on it as much of the display is taken up by a graph that can be either motivating or depressing, depending on what direction it's going. One cool option on this and the other with things, scales is a pregnancy mode, which gives users an overview of the week with the current stage of pregnancy and cumulative weight gain, along with how it compares with personalized recommendations. But being able to set up different accounts for different users in the pregnancy mode don't, in our opinion, justify the $79 price tag, especially considering how hard to read the display is. I've been working on getting into better shape and a weight-only scale just wasn't cutting it, so I upgraded to this. This scale is awesome, 
it gives me all the metrics and data I could ever want from standing on a piece of glass, and it integrates its data well with my iPhone's other health apps, including my home gym, equipment and the health app taking data from my watch. It fills in a huge chunk of the whole picture that I had previously been missing and does so. Mostly seamlessly. The number one on the list is Wiz Smart Scale. Wiz Smart Scale, this Smart Scale, one of two we tested from Eufy, was another strong contender. It was easy to set up out of the box with a simple download of the app from the Apple App Store, it's also available for Android. It's a nice looking scale, and the app was simple to follow, you can also pair with Apple Health, Google Health and Fitbit. The Eufy P1 was also extremely consistent and accurate over repeated daily weigh-ins, both with and without the 10-pound hand weight we used to test. We really like the round edges on this scale, if you have little ones running around, you don't need to worry about them or you scraping up against it. The only drawback with the Eufy P1 is that while you can have 16 individual users, everyone can see one another's information. It's up to you, if you want to, share your weight and progress with 15 family members, it was neck and neck with the Wiz scale, despite it being double the price, so we think you're much better off opting for the Wiz scale. If you are looking for a scale for weight only, this may work fine for you. I find the other metrics unreliable and inaccurate. I'm a 60YO woman who is recently getting back to working out following life events and injuries that forced me to stop for several years. I'm now doing cardio and light weights a few times a week and working on losing 50 pounds, of which I've lost 20 in the past few months, want to get down to 180 pounds, I'm athletic and was a size 10 when I weighed that in the past.